So we're releasing these tight forearms here. If you've been on the computer all day typing, if you've been grappling, squeezing, pretty much any daily activity is going to tighten the flexors that tighten your hands being tight. So we've got to release these things, okay? It's the extensors here on the top of your hand that actually does not get activated enough. So if you're doing this, I'd like to couple this with some form of extension activator because we need to release these flexors. So you take a ball like this, a golf ball, and we just hit this tissue here. Just found the spots. I always like going up near this bone here and getting to that meat, especially. And that's kind of where that tendonitis can kick in too for people. And we just get in there. Guys, if you need help creating a performance or pain plan, connect with me below. You can schedule a free 10 minute call. Talk with me. I can help direct you to some resources, some questionnaires, and see how we can maybe help you create a little plan to conquer your pain and perform better. Now back to the video. We can switch sides. Let's go off feel really. It's really not a right or wrong way to do this. I mean, there's better, obviously, ways like you need to roll. If you study like some massage therapy stuff, you need to roll a certain way to an origin or insertion point. But for the sake of this video, you know, I don't think most people need those types of details. Here's where it's here. Just getting it. And folks, I'm keeping that hand wide. So if you crunch it up, it's going to tighten. So widen that hand and release. They find a spot here, maybe to a little contract, relax. And it wouldn't hurt maybe to add in a little bit of work on your extensors here, just to hit it a little bit. But then that's where I would like to do some type of work where you maybe add in a movement like this. Work on really engaging this side so you can release the flexor side here. And we just do that. 